Hey, so this is probably the most common, I guess, complaint that we get from any members because uh, when you're switching over, A, people are just going to always complain about something that's new. So anything that's new or, or different, people are always going to have some sort of rebellion against um, unless they're incredibly complacent people or they believe in what you're doing kind of wholeheartedly and they take your word as gold. However, I would say this is the most common complaint that we get. Um, there is a number of resources on the site already to, that you can go through and just go to the resources tab and like the transition pages. Uh, we have a bunch of emails that kind of clarify why we're doing what we're doing and what we're doing. Um, but you can put the information all out there to people time and time again and you can sit down and have chats with them. And I do suggest that if someone's particularly uh, combative when it comes to saying that this is not right for them or they're not getting their money's worth. Um, and that conversation usually should be, okay, you know, what do you think you're not getting and what do you think is going to happen? And try to validate and hear their concerns and generally it's like, I think I'm gonna get weaker. And then you can say, okay, you're not going to get weaker and here's why and that, that info is in that documentation there or in, that, in those pages there. Um, but the basics of it are they're still going to be exposed to strength and still going to be exposed to strength enough times uh, and through the fact that these movements are universal motor, universal motor recruitment patterns. So you're going to be exposed to these movements, maybe not necessarily one rep maxes or two rep maxes all the, every single day or f sets of five every single day, but you're still going to be exposed to strength so that you will see continued strength gains. They And for a lot of people, they'll see more because they're going to have the ability to let their central nervous system rest a bit rather than just taxing it out every single day. Now, that's a conversation you can have and try to validate where people are coming from and then and then have an open and honest, uh, like, hey, why don't we track our workouts? Why don't we see what's going on? And we'll measure our change. And if you don't see progress, then we can circle back around and see if maybe you need something special. Now, I like the idea, too, of the competitor stuff. It's kind of why we created the competitor stuff. The competitor stuff uh, allows you to uh, add some extra volume for people who want need extra volume or like extra volume, maybe not need it, but like it, uh, or people who want to be competitive. Um, and that will still keep those members as part of the community through the normal classes, but then allows them to have some extra stuff that isn't particularly redundant and allows them to feel like they're getting a little bit more that uh, the lifting in or the strength component because they're exposed to it uh, more frequently just due to the higher volume. The last thing I'd, I'd leave you with is I need to make sure that, or not I need, you need to make sure that when you're coaching this, uh, you need to make sure that there's a, they're getting the intended stimulus of the day. And that's going to be different than your normal coaching of a strength Metcon. Because when you build consistency around a certain way of doing things, your brain starts to build a pattern and it starts to build a habit around when it comes to the gym, it expects X and then it gets Y as a, res as a response from the body and then you go home satisfied. So they built this habit around come to the gym, do a strength, do a Metcon, go home feeling like this. So they're feeling a certain way when they go home and usually it's depleted because a lot of the time strength Metcon every day leads to more, exhaust more exhaustion uh, for some people. Now, that being said, you can elicit that same response with one thing. You just need to be a little bit more precise with how you do it. You need to be a little bit more deliberate with how you tell them to attack workouts or tell them to attack strength days. Um, so what happens is if you're habitually centered around doing a strength and a Metcon, you're expecting a certain thing. And when you don't get that, you're going to be irrationally angry. This is the same science that goes back to like having a craving. Like if you're, if you're craving some sort of bad food, it's because there's a habit built around that. And when you deprive your body of that in the, in the, in the instance that it was expecting to get it, you're going to be irrationally angry and you're going to have certain uh, physiological and biological changes that happen where you, you get irrationally mad and, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on. Anywho, the same thing happens to the gym. So what we have to do is you have to make sure that when they leave the gym, they're leaving with some sort of uh, a response that's similar to what they were used to getting. Now, it doesn't need to be the strength Metcon. What it does need to be is it needs to be hard. And that means you need to find these people who are particularly combative with this and every single day they're in the, work, the gym, make sure you're challenged, challenging them the best you possibly can. And what I mean by that is look at the stimulus for the day 
And if you have to ratchet it up just a little to make them feel like they're badass, do so. Or if you have to tell them like, hey, this set needs to be unbroken. Or for you, this needs to be, the wall ball needs to be done in 30 seconds where it says get it done in a minute, you need to get it done in 30 seconds. And you basically need to push them harder than letting them kind of go on their own because they're used to kind of an autopilot training. I think a lot of the times with Strength Metcon, you build a bit of an autopilot, I'm just gonna get the work done. When you're doing these workouts that have only one focus, you need to be way more deliberate with how you're gonna attack that. And by forcing that more, uh, well, more intensity in general, like either going heavier or going faster, they're going to feel that level of exhaustion after uh, the class a little bit more. But it takes a shift in your coaching. It's not, it's not like just get them through the movements. You gotta get in there and you gotta make sure that they're, the people who are combative, you're offering a more specific response from every single day. So that, that's my number one that I would go to is like, hey, you think this is easy? Sure, all right. I'm going to destroy you today. So that way they leave feeling like they got, you know, something from that day and they can start to rewire that pathway in their brain and be okay with coming and doing single things in a day. Long-winded video. Uh, hope that helps. Check out the resources page. Uh, thanks guys for offering your other opinions in there.